Yo, 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 YouTube, Instagram, what's going on? This is Donald Belly back with another official Godzilla vs. Kong video. This time, we're talking about Godzilla. There's been a lot of uh, notion out there with how Kong should be introduced in Godzilla vs. Kong because we haven't seen him in over 40 years. It's been almost a 40 year gap since we've seen him. We don't know how big he is. We don't know how large he is. We don't know how muscular he is. And we just don't know how crazy he is. But that's something that we're going to find out pretty soon hopefully this year i haven't heard any delays if y'all heard anything about the movie being delayed into next year or later on this year please let me know uh don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the godzilla nerds um i'm gonna do random and free giveaways so maybe one of y'all can receive a godzilla gift but anyway we're talking about godzilla and we're talking about how should godzilla be introduced in godzilla versus Kong. the last time we seen godzilla he was in an intense battle with King Ghidorah, and he was able to pull it off by turning into burning Godzilla. After the after credit scenes, we see that they find King Ghidorah's head, but the most important, we see that all those Titans started traveling towards Squirrel Island. They built a mech on Squirrel Island, and Godzilla was having to keep the Titans in check. So how should Godzilla be introduced in Godzilla vs. Kong? Me, personally, I think Godzilla should be introduced um, in Godzilla vs. Kong this way. I think they should show Kong first. Uh, I think, you know, they should start off showing him on his island. There's a lot of chaos going on. I think they should show him fighting the camera about, uh the new Titan, who's supposed to be, um, I guess, part of Skull Island. I'm not really sure. So I think that's how it should start off. And I think Godzilla senses something. I believe that uh, he's sensing a threat because, remember, he's, he's over the entire planet. And he could have been with the Skull Island if he wanted to. But I think this is how they should start it off. And he should travel to Skull Island because there's a lot of records and there's a lot of noise and I think that's where they should introduce him at and I think uh, he's not going there with the intent to fight Kong I think he's just going there to kind of check out to see what's going on but with Mechagodzilla being a part of this movie I think he's going to disguise himself as Godzilla and I think that's where Kong is going to have an issue with Godzilla because remember before King of the Monsters came out Godzilla used to swim around he used to check with different locations. He'd swim by Antarctica to check to see if the door was still put. He even swam by Squall Island. He kept going, so the island never really bothered him because I don't think that storm can keep him from Squall Island. But I think that's how Godzilla should be introduced. Show Kong first. Let's, let's see him in silhouette. And when the silhouette fades, we can be in awe of how big and how gigantic he's gotten over a 40 year gap. Then, like I said, all the records and all the more start. Then this is where they show Godzilla. I know they've been saying that Godzilla, he still looks the same from the King of the Monsters Godzilla. But I do believe his dorsal plates are going to be blue, but at the tips they're going to be white. So I don't know if he's going through another change or whatever the case may be. So y'all let me know in the comment section how Godzilla should be introduced in Godzilla vs. Kong. Should they show Kong first, the highly anticipated new look of him, or should they show Godzilla first? And if so, how should Godzilla be introduced in Godzilla vs. Kong? Again, this is Donald Belly from the Godzilla Nerds. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm bringing that Godzilla vs. Kong content. Me and my brother finna amp it up. Peace out.